The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. So uh, let's take a look here at this DAX this morning. It's, it's kind of important because you'll see when we look at these stock index futures from the U.S., where we're seeing very similar type patterns. You'll notice here on this DAX, which is a 60-minute chart, that it is holding up right at a Gartley pattern. And if we take a look at the FTSE, which is in the news all the time now, it also made a per, almost perfect 61% retracement at uh, 73.50, uh, with the low being 73.58. Uh, now, I think the best way to look at this is if we take a look at the uh, Dow Jones, that's been the leader of the pack, you'll notice that we had that big three drive to a top pattern. Uh, let's let's change that, folks. That's a butterfly. The reason why it's a butterfly is because the C point, the B point, is lower than the A point. If it had been higher, it would have been a three drive to a top pattern. But because the B point of the ABCD leg is lower than the X, that means that it is a, a butterfly pattern. And that's what we were looking at. We had a high of... Um, 26,966, uh, I believe, was the high. And as you can see, uh, what happened last night and all day yesterday, uh, this goes through the day and then into the night a little bit. You'll notice that we made a perfect ABCD uh, coming in there at 26,480. Uh, that was exactly a 78% retracement of the low on uh, September the 28th. And so far, what we've done is we've rallied back up to a 61% retracement of the last two days range. So that's what we're keeping an eye on. Now, if we, if you look, if you want to, you know, have some fun, just look at the numbers uh, in the uh, E-mini S&P. I'm not going to post those because uh, just too many charts coming through and, you know, you don't need to see all of them, I don't think. But if you look at the NASDAQ here, when we had that same type of uh, three drive to a pattern back on uh, October 1st, uh, you'll notice that we came down and we stopped exactly at the 78% retracement of the low from uh, September the 11th. So this is the important. What's different now is you'll notice that the NASDAQ has not really rallied very much from that leather now from that level now whether that's going to be something of any some significance or not you know we're we're never really we're never really sure now one thing i i wanted to mention that we've been talking about apple and i received a really warm email from one of our listeners here at tfnn saying that he's been doing those apple trades all week and uh they have been working uh, just about every day so it's just a simple case of watching the opening price and you want to be long if you're above the opening price, and you want to be short if you're below the opening price. And you'll notice here, since September the 21st, uh, it's been above the opening one, two, three, four, five times in a row. Uh, yesterday was the first time that it was below the opening, and that one actually worked also. So it does have some really good uh, probabilities in your favor, but also you'll have periods where it'll meander back and forth between the open, and those are days when you're not going to make any money. You're not going to lose very much because the most you're going to risk is 1%, and 1% of Apple is roughly you know $2.12 a share. So if you stop and think, if you if you traded at 252 trading days a year, and you were right, uh, let's say 65% of the time, and your your biggest risk was one percent, and your biggest profit, you know, is unlimited. You can see where the odds will be uh, sort of in your favor, and that's what we're that's what we're really looking for here at TFNN is getting the odds uh, in our favor. Uh, one of the things that one of our listeners here at TFNN uh, has uh, asked us about, and that is the uh, uh, the the uh, the Hang Seng, and I wanted to show you where we are, folks. This is the uh, Hang Seng index as of yesterday. Uh, we, we've got down below um, 26,500 right now, so we're taking out the lows of September 10th. 
that usually means that we're getting ready to make a three drive to a bottom pattern down at the uh, 1.27 level, which will be at 25,900. And boy, if that one fails, uh, that's big trouble because that's a 1.618 of that whole range, you know, during August. So you got to pay close attention to it. But we did go down way below the 78% level, which is is not a very good sign, at least from the net, from looking at the Hang Seng index. That's the key uh, from what we're watching here. Now, another one that we've been in for quite some time that is continuing to work is the Australian dollar. Uh, we've been uh, been selling this uh, ever since the 73 and change level. Uh, we're now down around 7050. Uh, there's still a possibility that we believe me that 70 that 7080 level, folks, was very important because that was the um, that was the 786 on the long-term weekly charts. And that's why it was such a uh, very, very important. Let's just take a look at that long-term weekly in the Australian dollar, and you'll see that 78.6 came right in at that uh, that level of 70.80. And I've noticed I put a little notation on there. Anything below 70.20, you know, would be quite bearish because then you'd be looking at a double bottom from 2015, and that's that longer-term pattern at uh, 0.69. Uh, 3 So that's why we're at such a critical level here in the Australian dollar. Well, the, the, the currencies are always in a in a critical area because they're they're trading with money. But if we take a look here quickly at the euro today, uh, one of the things I wanted to point out was the fact that we had this uh, really nice three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, we came down and we uh, went up to a perfect 61% retracement. Uh, we made a really strong support here this morning at 114.87. That was the exact low of the move. Uh, we rallied all the way up to 115.40 uh, since that time. That was a fast 50 pips into that report, whatever it was. So this is telling us that we have some strong support in that euro at that 114.87 level. That was a 61% retracement from the low we made down at 114.64. I hope these numbers help. I'm throwing them out. Whether you write them down, pay any attention. I try to post the charts on them to show you what the relationships are. But again, it's kind of hard sometimes, you know, to uh, put them up there because it, uh, it, it, they're just difficult to see sometimes, and you've got to be uh, a bit careful. Now, another one that we've been watching uh, with a great deal of uh, Hold on one second here. It, with a great deal of interest has been the uh, the soybean oil market. And uh, if you'll notice here in the soybean oil, we did go up and we made the uh, 1.27 expansion up there at uh, 29.90. Uh, the buy was down at 29.15. The low on the move was uh, 29, excuse me, 27.12. The buy was at 27.15. The most it went against us was $40, folks, and it had well over a $1,300 profit in it, which is, uh, you don't get those very often, but when they do happen, you certainly, you know, you certainly like to, uh, you certainly like to, to see them. I wanted to show you this Euro, uh, expand, uh, expand upon it for just a minute here before we come to the break. You'll see the importance of that 1485 level this morning. That was a 61% retracement, and we touched it again taking out the lows of yesterday by about two pips, and then away it went. So let's keep an eye on this. This could be very interesting today. 877-whatever-whatever. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk 
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I want to remind everybody that the phone number for TFNN is 877-927-6684, not 977-whatever-whatever, as was previously reported. Let's take a look here at the March sugar. We've had several people ask us about this. If you'll notice, we made a double bottom down there uh, at the uh, on the 26th. It was a perfect ABCD, taking out the previous lows where we had a three drive to a bottom. We actually Actually bought that one and it made well over eleven hundred dollars we rebought it again uh, the following day on the 30th of September and it's had a huge move of uh, you know well over fourteen hundred dollars just straight up in the last five days and the way it's acting it looks like it wants to go to around that 113 level uh, potentially but the whole key here was the risk control part but another thing that's very important folks is the way that it made a new low you'll notice that it took out the lows from August the um, the 22nd and it didn't go anywhere it actually closed basically unchanged that day that told you that there really were no stops down there I mean when you go, go into an area and you hit those levels and they don't go through that's very important uh, years ago when I was you know doing uh, the ticker tape stuff from the Merck and the the Board of Trade one of the books that you know I lived by was the reminiscences of a stock ape stop or Stock Operator by uh, Edwin Lefevre, which is the story of Jesse Livermore, and Livermore was an avid tape reader, so I tried to do the same thing, and many times during the thing, he would say he was looking at a stock at 100, and the tape was reading 99.76, and he kept seeing it as 100. Well, when it gets up to those levels and it doesn't go through, that tells you that there's not very much buying or very much selling at that level. That's exactly what happened in the euro this morning at 11.87, I mean, excuse me, at 114.87. So that's a key thing, I think, over a longer period of time 
you know, to sort of look out. Now, we do have some uh, a programming note. On Monday, we're going to have Norm Winsky in. Uh, it's Columbus Day here in the United States. The, the banks are closed. It's also Thanksgiving in Canada, and so we'll have a pretty interesting day, and we have a new moon, so there's a lot of astrological things that'll be happening around the first of the week, so we'll keep a, a close eye on these as we as we walk through uh, the things that we're looking at here. Okay, now the next thing that we want to uh, cover here is, if you hold on here one second, I will get it ready, and we'll be ready. By the way, uh, Col Columbus Day is legal. Yes, it's a, it's, here it is in Arizona. The banks are closed. I, I, I do know that. I don't know if they're closed everywhere, but uh, actually, uh, Columbus Day, I don't know if you've ever been to New York, but if you ever go to uh, the Little Italy area, uh, if you go on that street where the, uh, the, the Church of San Genario is, uh, right above that church on the right-hand side on the fourth floor is where my grandmother and grandfather moved here in uh, 1923 when they came over from Italy. They later, they later went back and brought the rest of the family back in uh, right after uh, 1932, but that's the same place. I went up to that apartment uh, many, many years ago to see what it was like, and there were three families living in that tiny little apartment, but uh, that's uh, exactly where they lived. And the only reason I know that is my sister still has a picture that they took back in those days when they didn't have many cameras. Okay, let's move on to some of these things here. And we'll look at a few other things that we want to be watching. Uh, let's take a look here at this uh, one second here. I want to get this up. I missed that one. Here's one I want to show you, folks. This one looks really negative, in my opinion. Uh, we've been saying this uh, for quite some time because I've been bearish this for quite some time. But it topped right around September 1st with that uh, 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 butterfly pattern. And uh, also, it was right at an exact 1.618 of the July high. This is the Russell uh, 2000. Uh, we bounced off the 78% level for one day, and then it was hit hard. And it looks like the objective is down here around the 156 level. But this is a much weaker than market indice. This is the small cap, you know, the, com the countries. The, there's 2,000 of them in there, but these are uh, companies that have uh, earnings or earnings below uh, 20 million or something like that. They have a, a thing that they use. I don't really use this, but this is actually the second largest of the uh, of the futures, uh, the stock index futures that you trade. The first one, of course, is the E Mini. It has an open interest of about 300, about 2.7 million. The next is the Russell, which has a open interest of around 500,000. Uh, the next would be the Nasdaq at around. Uh, 280,000, and then the final one, of course, is the Dow Jones with an open interest of 120, 130,000, something like that. So when you see the Dow Jones jump around, part of that is the fact that it has a, a very light open interest, and a small a small order can sometimes move the uh, move the market uh, a great deal. So we want to watch that with a little bit of uh, of importance, I would think. Now. We've had a big run here in natural gas this uh, past week due to our good friend, uh, Mr. Z, in the room. As you'll see here on the long-term weekly chart, uh, we are approaching the 61% uh, retracement up there around that 326 level in natural gas. So that's going to be a very, very interesting one to see. Mr. Z has just posted that we have a perigee coming in on October 5th. That's today at 6.31 p.m. I believe that's Eastern time. And then we have the new moon coming in on the 8th. That's when we will have uh, our friend Norm. Norm Winsky from Astro Trends uh, giving us some really good things. Remember, folks, what we're seeing here in the market is nothing short of amazing, in my opinion, because we are seeing a market that is uh, – we have a number of advanced declines is, is declining. The number of new highs to new lows is declining. And those are usually not bullish things. Now, that changes, of course, over time and whichever cycle it's in. But for heaven's sakes, the fact that it's doing it is very, very important. The main thing that's happened this week, I think without any trouble at all, is what's happened in the 
the interest rate market, we have had a really, you know, we've been bearish this for a very long time. You notice this is the uh, T-bond weekly chart. Uh, we've broken below, closed below the 78% level. We're down around 37.10, I believe, this morning. Um, the first little bounce comes in around 135. That's off that 127. But you can see the ABCD structure off of that 382 takes you all the way down to 125, which means you're going to take out the lows of 2014. Uh, that's a long time ago. But interest rates have been going higher for a long time, irrespective of what the Federal Reserve does. So this is what it looks like, you know, in the Treasury bonds. If we take a look at the Treasury notes, you're going to be seeing a very similar pattern. It's even it's even more bear more bearish because if you look at the high at 2016, it was actually lower than the high of 2012. The bonds actually were going up and making a butterfly pattern up at that level, whereas the Treasury notes couldn't even make a double top, and it was making a really nice uh, uh, ABCD pattern at that time. If you take a look at that blue line from uh, the 2013 up into 2015, and then down, and then going up to 2016, if you just looked at that, you know, mathematically, you could see the importance of that 134, 135 level in the T-notes, and now we're trading around 117. There's been a big spike in interest rates. So 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment.
is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to take a quick look at the uh, coffee chart. Uh, I I kept a longer tr uh, trend in here. You can see how it's been bearish for so long, but the bottom, you'll notice that the three drive to a bottom pattern were formed. You can see that with the green uh, triangles that show the high low, high low, and gives you the three drive pattern, folks. We have, we're now tr we hit a, we hit a high of 110. Uh, in the coffee this week, and uh, it's trading at uh, 109 right now, so it backed off about four cents, and now it's come right back. So it looks like a pretty significant bottom has been formed here uh, in the coffee. Now, um, if you'll take a look at the next one, which is the um, it, is coffee at the first ABC? No, 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 no ABCD, Bill. It's just been a straight up run, my friend. There's no ABCD. It's just a a straight up run. And you you'll notice the next one that I post posted. You'll see the uh, the ABCD in the coffee. Uh, excuse me, in the uh, October sugar. Now, remember the March, the one we're trading, because this is in October. You don't want to mess with this because it's in the delivery. But this October sugar is now trading around 1170 It's moved uh, almost $2,000 straight up uh, this week. We happened to be in the March, which didn't move nearly as much, but it still moved uh, you know, pretty nicely. But uh, you'll notice here, we'll put this up and just show you where the March sugar is so that you can pair the two. Because when you're into delivery in some of these, it gets a little squirrely. But we're trading around the 1246 this morning uh, in the uh, the March sugar. So that sets up a potential. And these are straight up moves, folks. This was from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, today, Friday. It's been up every day. So uh, that's the kind you like to see you know, when you're long, when you're long, but, uh, you know, you don't always get that opportunity because sometimes, you know, you're going to be right. We had another one uh, uh, two weeks ago that was a really nice winner. And I'm just showing you these patterns because, you know, that's my job here is to try to show you that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But uh, at that 1.618 level at 27.12, you had a beautiful place to buy it. Uh, you'd been down, if you'd looked from uh, the in since the early September, this thing had been down two weeks. So it was what we call very oversold. And now what we've done is we're up about two weeks and we've reached the first 1.27 expansion level. We actually got as high as 29.95 in this, folks. Uh, we're trading a little bit below that right now, but that's uh, that's really how how you're looking for them to uh, to form. We had the same thing happen in a few other things that we were looking at. We didn't quite get filled on the co on the uh, the three drive pattern that we had in the uh, Christmas corn. You notice that uh, it was a really nice three drive down there, but it missed us by about a penny. We had an order setting in there, and bada bing, bada boom, it missed us. So sometimes you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find the princess. So keep in mind that that's some of the things that we're watching as we will look through here. Another one that uh, we were able to take some advantage of along with that soybean meal was, of course, the uh, soybean market. And uh, we've reached a high of... Uh, uh, 872 this week already. We're trading at around 860 right now uh, in the November soybeans. And these are the beans that are going to be harvested right now between now and uh, the end of October. And uh, the crop is pretty much made. Now, whether these tariffs that are coming in or not really mean very much or not, you know, I'm not really sure. So we need to uh, sort of, uh, you know, kind of at least keep a close eye on it. The only thing that would change this crop as far as supply demand at this level would be a hard freeze uh, between now and uh, the 1st of November. If we get a hard freeze in October, that would definitely affect some corn and certainly affect the uh, the soybean pods. That would be something you could knock off a few percentage, maybe even more. And because the world supplies are very tight, it doesn't take very much you know, to uh, to move snow in Calgary. My goodness, we have we have friends here this week from Canada. We'll have to remind them. Well, I knew it was cold because it was in the 30s last night up there. So it is a little bit uh, a little bit chilly. So any of those are the ones that we're paying attention to uh, that crude oil we talked about as a potential making a major top up there. There's a really good chance of that because of the way we broke down 
And one of the reasons we were looking at that as a potential was the fact that if you looked at this long-term uh, heating oil chart uh, going back for a very long time, we're right up at that three drive pattern, right at that 61% uh, retracement level. Now you're, the, the heating oil is making the, the, the pattern complete. The crude oil is far, far behind. Crude oil would have to get to about 82 in order to complete that, and we're trading at around 75 and change. Uh, I believe it's 75. It might even be lower than that. I think it is 74 and change. Maybe a, let's just double check and see where it's trading at here. Uh, yeah, we're trading at 74.31. So this is really not uh, doing very much, you know, on the uh, on the upside. So this is a pretty negative situation that we have that we're looking at uh, this morning here in the crude oil. Anything below uh, 73.50 today, that would be down 300. Three to three bucks a barrel in one day or day and a half. <laughs> That's not a good sign, boys and girls. So sort of keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on that one. That'll be one that's uh, real interesting. Now Tesla is still under a great deal of trouble. I'm not going to put the chart in because, you know, I well I don't have the time right now. But if the uh, if we should have some really strong support in Tesla, we posted it seven times uh, several different times it's 220 uh, $2 and $222 this year uh, in Tesla is what we're looking at uh, that's the ABCD structure so uh, I don't see any reason why to change it we did get up to 309 we thought it might get to the 382 which is 317 but every time Mr. Musk uh, makes any kind of tweet or a comment you know it seems the stock moves 30 40 dollars so What's amazing to me is they are arguing about a $20 million fine for Mr. Musk. He has a net worth reported in Wikipedia of $19 billion. If you want to have some fun, do the math. $20 million into $19 billion. Figure out what that is on a percentage basis, folks, and then go to Starbucks and spend it because that's pretty much what you're looking at. So I don't know why they're complaining. Maybe it's the principle of the thing, but uh, $20 million to someone that has uh, a billion, uh, you know, 19, 15 billion, whatever it is, is a very, very small, uh, very, very small percentage. That's the same thing when they find the uh, folks at uh, Goldman Sachs and some of the others because it's uh, something that looks, uh, you know, pretty interesting anyway. But whether they do it or not, who remains to be seen. That's the, the key thing of what we're watching here. So let's uh, let's move on here and take a look at some of these other things that we're watching. The, the gold is still holding up okay. Uh, today at 12.09, all it did was make a 78% retracement of yesterday's high. Uh, silver did the same thing. We've now had three higher Three lower highs in silver uh, over the since the second of October. Uh, we really need silver to get above the 1490 to turn it bullish. Until that happens, you know we're looking at a situation where we could be watching a market that is uh, getting ready to uh, come down to the. Hold on one second here, is to come. Let me post this up so you'll be able to see these lower highs. I'll I'll draw them in because it, they're really quite. Uh, they're quite distinct, and it's acting a little less than the gold. Let's put this up for silver, and you folks can, uh, you folks can take a look at it. Hey folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 
800-242-9190. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex. Next on TFNN. Okay, folks, let's take a quick look here uh, at the uh, Tesla because uh, it's in the news all the time and it does a really good job of explaining how patterns work and things because, uh, you know, they don't always work, but when they do, you know, it gives you a pretty good idea of uh, what we're looking at. Now, if you'll take a look here uh, really quickly where we are with Tesla, let's get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. You'll see here we uh, we're trading around 270, 20, <laughs> 273 dollars a share, roughly. Uh, we were trading as high. Oh my goodness, we almost made that. Uh, I was looking at 319, but we only got to uh, 316 uh, on the high. The previous day's high was 315, so it made a higher high by a dollar, and then is you know sold off about uh, 40 bucks. But it, it does look like the pattern that we're watching here is very very. Uh, pronounced that we're going to make around that 225 uh, level. In fact, I should draw this in because I just noticed it with this action that we had uh, two days ago. Uh, that takes us down uh, really close to that level. So pay attention in Tesla because if we get down there at that 225, we're going to be taking out the lows of the year. The whole world will be getting bearish. We'll be completing two major ABCD patterns down there. So it'll be something that will be uh, quite interesting, I believe. Let's take a quick look here. Another one that we've been watching that just keeps uh, just keeps uh, you know heading lower. Uh, we're not lower today yet, but it's still early in the day, and that is the Twitter. Uh, we still believe that we're heading down to around $20 uh, in Twitter. That's another one that's been in the news quite a bit with some really big, uh, really big patterns. And finally, the last one we want to be looking at, of course, is one of the most uh, famous of the, the uh, social stocks, and that is uh, Facebook. And uh, we'll see how it's doing today. Uh, we're actually, ooh, we're sitting right at that 159, 160 level again. But when you look at this chart, folks, it really has a, a price a, a lot lower uh, written right on uh, the front of the stock certificate. Looks like it wants to go down to about that uh, 150 uh, to uh, 145 level. Actually, 145.47 uh, is the exact price, so we'll see if uh, that is uh, if that's going to be uh, uh, the case or not. We'll have to do one thing at a, at a time. Keep an eye on the uh, crude oil right in here, folks, because we have some serious uh, uh, support here at the $74 uh, 
uh, per barrel level uh, in the crude. We're trading around 74.16 right now, so it's very important to you know kind of keep an eye on that because uh, between 74 even and 73.50 we have some really serious, really serious support. And if that breaks. Uh, that tells us that we're going to be looking at something uh, a whole lot uh, more sinister uh, to the downside uh, in this, but it's still a little bit uh, early in the thing. One of the one of the main stocks that we watch, uh, besides Apple, all the time, uh, of course, uh, is Amazon, and it has been, uh, you know, it's had some lower tops in here recently. Right now, we're we're up just slightly in the Amazon. Uh, there's really there's a bigger ABCD pattern here, but we had major support come in there. Let's put this up so you folks can see it first. But we had some major support come in here at this uh, 11, excuse me, 1800 and uh, 74 dollars. Then we rallied up to uh, uh, 2032, which was a lower high. Then we made the high on it was 2041. And so what we're watching for is the fact if we can hold these levels here. You'll notice between September. And there was a three-week period where it made a beautiful ABCD pattern, you know, right on that uh, 1874 level. That was a perfect ABCD. I mean, I don't, I don't expect you people to trade a, an $1,800 stock, folks. When I traded stocks way back in 1965 and 66 and 64, the the most expensive stock on the New York Stock Exchange, and remember, there were only Oh my gosh, there were just a few issues. I think there maybe there were less than a thousand issues on the New York Stock Exchange at that point, and uh, the most expensive stock was Superior Oil. It was basically, uh, you know, a group out of I think it was Arm and Hammer out of Los Angeles that owned it. it was a Saudi Arabia. Oh, I can't, I'm using too much of the brain, uh, the gray matter. I can't remember, but all I know it was a big oil stock. Ah, you know, I think it was John Paul Getty, if I'm not mistaken, but it was twelve hundred dollars a share. And it was always fun because to see it cross the ticker tape because you'd see four digits and that was, uh, you know, very, very unusual. And you'd see it cross with 10 shares, 15 shares, you know, 30 shares, you know, stuff like that. But uh, things are certainly changed now with electronic trading that we have. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here this morning in the uh, – these things. So keep an eye on this crude oil. It's going to be very interesting here between 7,400 and 7,350 because it's got some uh, some important uh, support uh, at that level. Whether that's going to happen or not, uh, we really don't know. Now the euro, we're watching it very closely because you know we've had a pretty good run here of about 50 pips since early this morning. We went down and hit that 61% retracement at 1487. The low was 114.83. We're trading at 115.33 right now. And anything, if we get this thing above 115.65 today, uh, you're going to have a pretty good run, I would believe, to see if that's going to hold up. Remember, this past week, one of the things that we focused on in our newsletter was the fact that we had completed this ABCD pattern in the U.S. dollar index. And remember now, folks, we're trading up around 95 and a half right now. So this has had a really good move uh, this week. We're just a little above the 61% retrace this morning. So it's completed the ABCD. That would be the first objective, whether that equates to the 114 uh, uh, 83 level that we've seen or whether it's going to hold you know at a higher level I'm not sure in the euro but uh, this could be an interesting thing to look at over the weekend because if we only get higher than 95 55 where we're trading at right now uh, that would tell us maybe the 61 percent retracement would be enough because it's been eight days you know we made our bottom here eight days ago and it's been a straight up move after that ABCD occurred and now we're right up against resistance once again it seems like every time we come into a Friday, there's something really big happening, and that tells us that, uh, you know, we got a lot of things moving along. So we'll see how they work out here uh, over a period of time, but that's what we're watching early this morning. Not much else happening in the world. We got the gold is trading around 1207, and uh, this crude oil is right at major support here, folks. Watch this. This is going to be interesting here uh, in the crude oil. It's got a really good... Uh, Really good possibility here of uh, holding at this level between uh, 7410. Uh, uh, we just hit 7405, so watch this level here all the way down to 7350. That's the area where you'd want to be, you know, keeping a really close eye on it. So 
that's what we're we're keeping an uh, eye on uh, early this morning here at the, on this crude oil. The other things are just not doing very much. We've got the S&P trading at 2909. That's pretty much unchanged on the day. We had a big ABCD down there in the – oh, let's put this up because this is an interesting one in the uh, – Hold on, we'll get this up here and take a look at it. You'll be able to see the ABC structure that we had in the E-mini S&P yesterday. I didn't put, oh, this is not good. Let's just, uh, I think this will do it. Yeah, this will be okay. I didn't put the big low in. That's a baddie on my part. Let me do this chart again. You've got to see the low because the low was right at a uh, 707 level. I'll try to get that posted for you so you can see it a little better. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, let's just take a quick look at a review of the week. One, the big news, of course, is the fact that the 30-year Treasury bond has now reached way above 3%. I think we're around 3.6% now. You can see that it's pointing to way above 4 Looking at this ABCD structure, we're seeing the same thing in the Treasury notes. That's very, very important. The second thing that we're seeing is the huge divergence that we're seeing in the uh, Russell uh, 2000. Uh, this was where it was Friday. Uh, we're now down uh, six handles from that level. 
Uh, we've taken out the uh, the 165 level, um, and in fact, we took yeah we took out the 164 level. Uh, and also, the, another thing that we're watching is the fact that the main thing we talked about earlier in the week, and since it's Friday, we might as well review it a little bit, is how these different sectors are divergent, much much like they were back in the old heydays of some of these things here. So we'll look. To, there we are. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, now you can see the difference in the. Um, <laughs> I don't understand why all of a sudden this thing is recording. I keep hearing. I understand why. There we go. I had to turn something off. You'll notice the divergence that we're seeing here in these major indices like the banking, real estate uh, indices. That's very, very important. And then also momentum, momentum has really, uh, you know, really be, uh, it's really, really quite important. So pay attention to that. I would think longer term, that's going to mean a lot. But we're starting to see rollover action. We're seeing it in the NASDAQ, of course, a little bit and very, very, uh, uh, pr proudly uh, in the uh, the Russell, and that's the one that you should be short because you always want to sell the weakest and buy the strength. Remember, we have our special guest, Mr. Norm. I call it to the minute. Winsky will be on on the eighth, and uh, we'll see what happens. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!